Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a PHP programmer. I've, I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006. And so today, I'd like to talk to you, uh, I'd like to answer the question, is PHP dead? And we'll go on and talk about the future. So is PHP dead? Well, let's look, at, let's look back towards uh, the past, and then we'll get to the future, and then I'll answer the question. So uh, PHP was con conceived in 1994 by a gentleman by the name of Rosmus Ledford. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll put oh, over here. I'll put his name up over here because I cannot say his name. Um, so anyway, he, he, he created PHP for his own personal use and it was called uh, Personal Homepage and uh, so he did that for a little bit and then about 95 a, uh, I read that about 15,000 websites. Now in 95 the web was pretty small and it had 15,000 websites that were running uh, PHP. So then uh, a community uh, uh, formed to work on PHP and it was released to the public and uh, it was named, uh, I think the first version might have been PHP slash uh, 5. In 2000 when I got out there and was looking for hosting, uh, that was one of the options and I think that was version 2. Um, so. Let's, let's look at Linux was developed in, in uh, 91, it was released, and that's when it was starting to be developed. And that's important because Linux is the web server of choice, the operating system on the web server. The web server is used to ex uh, explain many different pieces of software. So uh, Linux is the operating system for the web server. Um, and Apache, which is a considered a server. It serves up the pages, it grabs the files from the server and it just and it sends it to your browser. And it is it, it was developed it, it was released first in ninety five. Um, and then um, MySQL, the database uh, engine, the most popular uh, database engine on the web, was released in ninety five as well. Uh, the reason these are important is these are, these are the different pieces of software that come together to create data-driven websites, and that's mostly what we have. That, that was, was my first website was data-driven. Okay, so GoDaddy was founded in 97. Um, the reason I bring that up is, uh, I don't know, it, it's just a frame of reference. GoDaddy might be one of, if not the largest, uh, web hosting company in the world is one of the largest. I believe it's still the largest domain registrar. Uh, a huge, huge, huge company that's had a huge impact on the internet. Um, okay, so I taught myself Linux, or not Linux, I, I was actually first uh, exposed to Linux in about 98. Uh, I liked it because it was a um, an alternate to Windows and I like that a lot and a lot of people like that uh, and I wanted to use it as a web server and so um, and I taught myself HTML in, a, in the spring in the spring of 99 and I created my first website around 2000 January February March somewhere in there of 2000 using Perl the Perl programming language which isn't very popular now and um, the uh, I, I believe an early version of um, uh, MySQL, the data engine I, I, I referenced earlier. Um, okay, so when I was out there, PHP was an option, JavaScript was an option, uh, not JavaScript, Java, the Java uh, programming language was an option and um, there might have been one or two other things. Perl was out there. Uh, so it was really unclear around 2000 which language is going to become dominant. Now I can tell you that PHP MySQL got on my radar around um, 2002 I think it was. And, um, and of course I've been doing PHP since 2006. Uh, okay. So let's, let's fast forward to today. 
So today, uh, PHP makes up upwards of about 80% of the websites on the internet. Uh, let's say that again. So 80% of the websites on the internet run PHP in some fashion. Uh, that's huge. 80% uh, of the internet. Um, okay, so uh, there's billions of websites, and um, today the average, I just read the average developer, PHP developer, makes $91,000 a year. That's average. Now, location um, makes a big difference uh, for the most part. Uh, if you're in Arizona, it might be a little bit lower than that. If you're in Nevada, it might be higher than that. Uh, if you're uh, offshore, it's going to be considerably less than that. It could be $12, $14, $15 dollars an hour. Okay, so um, let, let's talk about PHP today. Okay, so WordPress takes up somewhere around 30% of the internet. WordPress is a content management system. Uh, you can be on these sites and, and not even know they're run by a WordPress. But, the bottom line is that 30% of the internet is run by, web, by uh, WordPress. Now WordPress was written in PHP and, uh, and the primary or the default data engine is uh, MySQL. Uh, you have Drupal uh, which is just like 3%. We have uh, Joomla which is about 1%. Um, and we have uh, Magento, which is about um, maybe one, two percent. And Magento, oh, maybe it's three percent. Magento is a is a is a uh, shopping cart, and I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. The the documentation to run Magento is a thousand is over a thousand pages. Uh, the server requirements are through the roof. It, it's just, it's not anything I would, I, I supported uh, Magento for a couple of years and because of that experience I would never run Magento if it was my choice. Uh, so um, now we have Woo WooCommerce. Uh, you might have heard of WooCommerce. WooCommerce is also a PHP uh, piece of software and it's a plug-in to WordPress uh, that allows, it makes WordPress into not only a content management system, but it puts it into a shopping cart. And uh, it is the fastest growing shopping cart right now, shopping cart software, and uh, it, I, it may be even the dominant one. Uh, I, I read somewhere around there, it's got like 30, what did it say here? Um, WooCommerce has 29% market share, 29. And it could be more by now, and it, it could be less. Uh, you know, it really depends on where you go look, you know, it depends on whose stats uh, you're looking at as to what number they yield. So, um, now, when I got into PHP, PHP was like, uh, before I got into it, I, I mentioned that in 2000, uh, I remember seeing PHP, I think it was version two, uh, PHP slash phi uh, was was available uh, with Java and Perl and maybe another language or two I don't remember um, and and so uh, my first website like I explained was uh, I used Perl um, and then PHP got on my radar around uh, 2002 2006 I went out on my own I chose uh, PHP to be my programming language. Uh, to do uh, web development um, and, and so uh, PHP is the dominant language on the internet now. There's no, no disputing that. Um, okay, so we were on uh, PHP 5 forever for like 10 years. Uh, 6 was um, in the planning stages and what they did was they took 6 and, and they put some of it into 5 and they just, just uh, let the other uh, rest of it go, uh, and then they came out with seven. Seven came out was a huge improvement over five. Uh, was faster. Uh, it was just it was just a better product. Um, and the community has really dedicated itself to making PHP, uh, keeping it up to date. And so seven is is uh, past its end of life. We're now at eight. 
Now, PHP uh, on its website says that they will support each version for three years. So 8.1, whatever that was uh, was published, they, they will they will support that for three years. If, if we get up to 8.5 or 8.6, then from the time that was published, they they will um, they will support it for three years. So nine's probably on the horizon. Uh, I don't know what they're going to put in there because PHP. Uh, you know, some people throw rocks at PHP. I've been using PHP a long time. I don't find any problems with it. And I've asked. I've asked others. I, I went to my local um, Linux group and I asked them, why, why are people throwing rocks at PHP? And I was told um, that they were really talking about the older versions, like version 4. Uh, version 5 was uh, pretty good. Uh, 6, uh, like I said, didn't happen. 7 was really good. Um, so, okay, so let's talk about the future of PHP. Uh, now, I've read there is some competition. Some people think that JavaScript, Java, and Google's Go could be a replacement for PHP. I, I don't believe that. I mean, you look at PHP, there's 80% market share. It will take a long time to replace those. There are some major applications out there that run PHP. Um, so, you know, like I said, um, WordPress has 30% market share. You got WooCommerce, which is, you know, really coming up big. Uh, it's got about 30% market share. Uh, these things are just going to go away. Um, you know, you've got Drupal, you've got Joomla, you got uh, Magento, and there's other pieces of software that I'm not even talking about. There's frameworks uh, that you can use that I haven't mentioned. Uh, they're out there. There's very, very, very little uh, stuff other than .NET that could ever uh, knock PHP down. And it, and it would take a long, long time. You would have to rewrite PHP, not PHP, but like WordPress. You'd have to replace all of WordPress. So let's, let, let's see. So there are some, some, okay, so we're talking about the future now of, PH, of PHP. Now this is more along the lines of, of the programmers because I think PHP is stable. I think we'll be using PHP uh, 10 years from now. Uh, the problem is that, that you know, and I, I don't know, yeah, this is a problem. The future of our economy is really, really in bad shape. Now about seven years ago, P, uh, programmers uh, became a super high demand, but pretty soon that's going to reverse itself because we're having high inflation, um, we're starting to have layoffs, we're starting to have bank failures, uh, we're having a lot of problems in, in our future. Uh, our dollar has lost its dominant um, position in the, in the, in the world, uh, or it's in the middle of losing it. Uh, other countries are, are building alliances with each other and they're leaving us out. And so the future is rocky. I don't know what it holds. Uh, I think there'll be PHP in our future. Uh, there just may be a lot lower demand for a while. Now, what I can tell you is I've lived through a lot of these ups and downs. And they always turn around and they go up. I don't know when this will crash and I don't know when it will come up. But when it starts to rebuild, all those businesses that went out, they're going to be replaced by something. And those businesses will need programmers. They will need websites. They will need automation. And that will be a time for when the PHP programmer uh, will find opportunity. Um, so, uh, you know, like I say, out of the ashes uh, comes opportunity. And uh, PHP is, has a very big stronghold on, on the internet. And uh, I think even with a downturn, a serious downturn, which I think there's going to be a serious downturn, or at least that's what I'm reading, I think what's going to happen is it'll just be slower for a while, but there'll always be demand. I'm just, and when I say always, I'm ta I, I can't talk for more than really five or ten years. And 10 years from now, who knows what's going to be happening. But I think for the next 10 years, PHP will be in high demand. Uh, and there's lots and lots of opportunity out there for a PHP programmer. So um, 
I, I hope this this uh, information was useful. My name's Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer. If you find this this content useful, uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, hit that notification bell so you can uh, get notified whenever I put a video up. Now this channel is dedicated to those who want to learn PHP. Now I'm a freelance PHP developer and I've been out there for a long, long, long time. And I want to teach you everything I know. So anyway, uh, have a great day. We'll talk soon.